Hello, everybody, and welcome to Learning English TV 20. My name is Steve Ford, and you're really into it today. <laughs> this one, I don't have to worry about getting my shirt dirty. Uh, we're doing phrasal verbs today, yeah? And we're going to be doing phrasal verbs to make you happy. So my first phrasal verb for today is cheer up. One thing that I like to do to cheer myself up is to go for a walk in nature. As you can see, lots of ocean, lots of trees, lots of mountains. So hopefully that 360 view cheered you up a little bit. And let's go on to our next phrasal verb. My second phrasal verb is look up. Things are looking up. Quite often used when you're going through a bad time and then suddenly things start to get better. So you're in that valley and then you start to go up the mountain again and you say things are starting to look up. Things are looking up. Get back on track. Imagine that a train is off the track. It can't go anywhere because it's not on track. So when you get back on track, it means that you're starting to go in the right direction again. And a great example I have of that is the actor Robert Downey Jr. I'm sure you know him from Iron Man 1, 2, and 3, and also from Sherlock Holmes. Well, in the early 90s, he was off track, and he was dealing with uh, drug addiction, he also had to deal with uh, being imprisoned and problems with the police. Uh, he had to go to rehab, so on and so forth. And slowly but surely, after he met his second wife, who's a movie producer, he got back on track with his career. And now we know that he's not only a great actor, but he's a great performer. Give yourself a pat on the back for getting back on track, Robert Downey Jr. We need more success stories like you. Hang in there. I used this from one of my previous videos. I also posted a little picture of it on uh, Facebook yesterday, and uh, all of my fans there loved it. Hang in there is something you say to someone when they're going through a difficult time and they don't know if they're going to make it. They're literally hanging off a branch or off a cliff and you're saying, hang in there, you're going to make it and pull yourself back up. So if you're going through a difficult time out there, hang in there. Three final phrase verbs that you can use to cheer yourself up. One very informally is pig out on something that you like to eat, like some chocolate. A second one is that you can check out some cool videos on YouTube that make you laugh. And last but not least, you can get in touch with your friends so easily online. And then after, maybe you can talk to them on Skype or something like that. Anyway, everybody, I hope that my video cheered you up and I look forward to Learning English TV 21. Bye for now. I once heard a melody as I was waking up. And I knew the music, it would always cheer me up, cheer me up, cheer you up, cheer us up, cheer me up. Though you feel that life is hard, please don't, don't give up. Hang in, hang tough, don't give in, cause things are looking up.
This is the example live versus live. So you need to look at how the word is used in the context of the sentence. For example, I live in Vancouver, Canada. So since we're talking about expanding vocabulary, I have a lesson for you on the many uses of deal. deal with something.